All right, before this video gets started, I want to let you guys know that there will be no live streams this weekend. I was planning on doing a live stream Saturday and Sunday this weekend. Unfortunately, I cannot do them this weekend. I have family coming over, and it would be a really bad time. Obviously, uh, I want to enjoy the time with my family and all that stuff. And also, in this video, we're going to talk about some more hockey 101. I'll leave a link in the comments below or to the description. I, meant I mentioned this many times in the video. Also, my reading is not that good, and also my name pronouncing is not that good. I can't pronounce people's names that well, and also I can't read very well either. So if I pronounce anything or if I misread anything, um, do not hate me in the comments. I'm warning, <laughs> I'm telling you guys now, uh, warning before this video, so um, all that stuff. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get it started. <music> Hey guys, what's up? My name is Prez and welcome to another episode of NHL Be a Goalie. And uh, for my last episode of NHL Be a Goalie, we talked about hockey one-on-one. Um, I know some of my subscribers are new to hockey and they don't quite understand the rules of hockey or how hockey works. In this, I'm going to explain a little bit more. If you guys have missed the previous episode of NHL Be a Goalie, uh, I'll leave a link in the description or um, just head over to my channel if I don't put a link in the description. Just head over to my channel, type in NHL Be a Pro episode 26, I believe, because we're on episode 27, this one. Yeah, so just type in NHL Be a Pro or Be a Goalie episode 26, and it will pop up. Um, but in this video, I, f I forget what we talked about in the last video when it came down to it. I think we talked about the NHL, the game, and the rules, I believe, and the positions. Uh, so we talked about a little bit of things. We haven't talked about the penalties yet, the rank. The face-offs, superstars, the greatest players of all time, and the greatest teams of all time. And then there's a section in French, which I can't read. You know that I'm Canadian. I can't read French. I could read some French, but I can't read all of it. But anyways, in this episode, we're going to talk about a couple things. We're going to talk about penalties, uh, and uh, we're going to talk about the rink and face-offs. So hopefully we can get through all three. If we don't get through all three, that is fine. Um, we'll just I'll just make another NHL be a goalie. Um, part three for hockey 101. <laughs> be part three for hockey 101. Um, ooh, I don't want to create a new pro. I want to load in my old one. But anyways, I'll see you guys when we actually get this thing started. And um, I'm going to quickly load in here everything. And then uh, we'll get this thing started. All right, guys. So we're going to get started here at the uh, XL Energy Center, I want to say. But uh, anyways, we're playing against the Minnesota Wild. The game doesn't really matter. Um, when it comes down to it, because we're actually going to talk about something in this video. I'm going to try to make my videos a little bit more informative when it comes down to talking. Um, I don't want to, if I run out of a topics to talk about, then I'm just going to end the video um, pretty much there. Um, so, but uh, anyways, we're going to have something to talk about in this episode. We're going to talk about hockey one-on-one. -on -one. Like I said in the beginning, I talked about it in my last NHL be a goalie and uh, all that stuff. So this episode will be part two of that and today we're going to talk about penalties in this first period so there are four referees in an nhl game when a player violates one of the rules of the game he's given a penalty by the referee penalties are given for the body fouls of hitting such as hitting from behind elbowing and fighting penalties also giving for uh giving for stick fouls so there's body fouls and there's stick fouls uh so body fouls like i said is um like hitting from behind, elbowing, and fighting. There's a little bit more now. Uh, hits to the head, all that stuff, and um, obviously more dangerous hits. Obviously, we'll get a penalty. We'll get you a game misconduct if you um, if you hit somebody in the head, which is just awful to do to another player uh, in any sport, really. But uh, anyways, so the the stick fouls are like slashing, spearing, hooking. Holding, tripping, cross checking, and high sticking. I could just hear cross checking a body foul, but I guess they consider a stick foul because you're actually using your stick. Um, but um, also, penalties can. Uh, hold on here. Let me focus on the game a little bit. Uh, penalties are also given for the other infractions, such as delay of game, too many men on the ice, and unsportsmanlike conduct. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to focus on the game here. Also play. If a uh, offending player team is possession of the puck and the referee blows the whistle, immediately stops play 
and enforces the penalty. So, like, um, let me explain that a little bit, a little bit more. Um, so, if my team gets a penalty, if my team gets a penalty right now, and if the Minnesota Wild is holding the puck, and um, if they're holding the puck and we get a penalty, we have to touch the puck. Um, or like, if Minnesota has the puck and we get a penalty, and we touch the puck, and then the the ref the referee blows the whistle. If there's enough time, and if Minnesota is holding the puck good enough, they'll pull their goalie and have an extra man come on the ice. That's allowed. I believe they talk about that in this actually. Um, so, um, yeah. So, like I like if we get a penalty, and Minnesota's holding the puck, they're allowed to pull their goalie and bring out another player until the until we touch the puck and the referee blows the whistle. Then the penalty is enforced. Okay, where was I? There it was. If the offending player team does not uh, possess the puck, the referee will raise his arm to show the delay of call of the penalty. I just talked about that. Uh, anyways, we tie it up right now. Uh, standard penalties are two minutes in length, and the pen and the player serves the penalties in the penalty box. So the penalty box is on the other side of the ice from the benches. You can always replicate that for uh, pretty much any NHL game. They're always on the other side of the ice. While the penalty is being served, the opposite team receives a man advantage opportunity called the power play. The power play lasts the duration of the penalty. In case of a mi uh, minor penalty, the power play will end early as if the team with the man advantage scores a goal. So, if like um, if we get a five minute penalty, there's five minute penalties. Obviously, there's more major penalties when it comes down to it in hockey. Uh, it's a, it's five minutes. So um, the team with serving the five minute penalty is on a penalty kill, and the power the power play team, the opposite team, like if we get a five minute uh, five minute uh, five minute penalty, they have a five minute power play. And they can score as many goals as they want to, um, or as they can, in those five minutes. So if um, so, if you get a five-minute power, uh, if they get a five-minute power play, we have to serve that until the end. We can't let if they score one goal, we can't have another player come on the ice. It's still five on four for five minutes. Now, just a regular power play, the two-minute power play. If the opposite team, if the uh, if Minnesota scores. On that power play then the penalty is served the penalty is done it doesn't matter if it lasts two minutes or 30 seconds or even 10 seconds if the opposite team scores then the power play is over so yeah now we'll move on to the rink I believe we actually talked about the rink I want to see yes so I believe we talked about the rink we talked about positions Let's talk about face-offs. If I missed any of them, if you guys remember from the last episode, if I missed any of them, let me know in the comments below and all that stuff. So, we talked about face-offs too. Man, I talked about everything in that video, I believe. Well, anyways, we're talking about the superstars in the next, epi uh, the next period. Let's talk about the greatest NHL players of all time. Or greatest NHL players right now. Lots of Canadians, but some Russians, Swedes, and even uh, uh, civilian. So I hold on here. Slovenian. I didn't even really see that. So this is obviously objective, um, not objective. Very highly. Um, it, it could be not your list. It could be your list. So, this is not even my list for the top 10. They have top 10 players here. But it could be your your player could not even be on there. And obviously, that's not your list. This is from Sportsnet to let you guys know. I'll leave a link in the description or in the comments below to this website. But this is their top 10 list. This is their top 10 list. This is not mine. Obviously, some players on here would be on my top 10 list. Um, but your top 10 list could be different when it comes down to it. So, starting at number 10, we got John Tavares. He's not the fastest guy in the game, 
but he's more he makes up more for it uh, with his great uh, stick handling and passing and shooting. So number ten, John Tavares. He plays for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I believe he is the captain for the Toronto Maple Leafs, um, and uh, all that stuff. So, uh, Kopitar, Anze Kopitar. I want to. I don't really know how to pronounce his first name. I just call him Kopitar, like everyone else. <laughs> I just know him as Kopitar. I just the announcers just say Kopitar. Anze Kopitar. He gets a ton. He doesn't get a ton of attention. But it's force on offense and defense. But he's a f uh, force on offense and defense. So we're coming up to number eight now. Number eight. As a defenseman, Drew Doughty can do it all. He saves his best hockey for the playoffs. That is true. He plays one of his best hockeys during the playoffs. And he is probably one of the top defensemen in the NHL. I don't know when this list was made, so um, yeah. So I don't know when this list is, <laughs> this was made. I don't even know when this post was made. It doesn't even have a date on it when it was made. Um, it looks like 2015, so uh, pretty old. <laughs> Number seven, uh, Evgeny Melkin. Melkin? I said Melkin. Like I'm. Uh, Melkin. I don't know. I can pronounce his name wrong. I don't really care. Combination of his size and skill is almost unfair when he is on. He is basically unstoppable. He is basically unstoppable. Like He's really, really, really good player. And next to Sidney Crosby, he, he top of his game pretty much. So uh, uh, coming at number six, Ryan Gislev. Ryan Gislev of the Anaheim Ducks. He's the captain. Uh, he's he is skilled and little mean, which is great combina which is a great combination for hockey. He de he definitely changed his game over the years. I would say I wouldn't say he's a little mean. Um, he he's probably one of the best passers in the NHL. If you want the puck, he'll get it to you uh, through traffic, through pretty much anybody. He'll give he will give you the puck, which I think. Uh, Hendrik Lundqvist is consistently at the top of everyone's list when it comes for best goaltenders. That's why they call him the king. Yeah, he is the king. Um, but I don't think, I don't think he is on the top list of best goaltenders right now. Uh, as of the last couple of years, the last like year or two years ago. Um, like I said, th it looks like this was made in 2015. So... And uh, number four, nobody in the NHL fills the uh, fills the net, fills the net, yeah, fills the net quite like Alex Ovechkin. So Alex Ovechkin is not um, it's not a goalie, so I don't want to say net, um, but um, yeah, Alex Ovechkin is captain of the Washington Capitals. He is probably one of the best Russian players. I believe he's Russian. Yes, he is Russian. I believe he's one of the best Russian players, and he finally won his first Stanley Cup, uh, finally, after beating the Pittsburgh Penguins. Usually, when it comes down to it, when it comes down to the playoffs, um, when it comes down to Washington and Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh usually wins that battle, but um, I believe not last year. Was it last year? I believe, a, like, not last year. I think the previous year, um, Washington beat Pittsburgh, and everyone knew once they beat Pittsburgh, they were pretty much unstoppable from there so um number three steven samko skates like the wind and shoots like a cannon he is pretty good he is pretty good he, i like i like steven samko's when it comes down to a shot he had an injury um that really hindered his game in my opinion um but uh he hasn't really fully recovered also in my opinion from that injury um but um a really strong chance in the playoffs this year Really strong chance in the playoffs this year. And um, number two, they call him Jonathan Taves. Uh, it's Captain Sirius. He with two Stanley Cups and two Olympic gold medals to his resume. He does not fool around when it comes down to winning. He doesn't. Jonathan Taves is probably, like like they said, he, he two gold medals, two Stanley Cups, 
And he, he doesn't really come fooling around when it comes down to winning. Like, he really wants to win, he'll win. And um, number one. Now, I believe this player is number one on top of everyone's list when it comes down to it. Because he, he surprises everyone when it comes down to hockey. Like, no matter what he does or how old he gets. He's not even that old. But when it comes down to it, like, he surprises everybody when it comes down um, to the wire. Like, he really pulls out of, like, he really pulls it out when he, t when his team really needs him. He really pulls it out. And that's uh, Sidney Crosby. There's plenty of challenges to Sidney Crosby, but Sid, the kid, remains hockey's golden boy. Now, they didn't list the, the Olympic gold medals that he had, the Stanley Cup wins, the World Junior medals, um, everything else when it comes down to it. He is... His name is Sid the Kid. Like when you can have a name like when you have a nickname, when you have a nickname in hockey, like Alex Ovechkin has, um, the Great Eight. And and like that's his, that's his hockey name is the Great Eight. And like Jonathan Taves has Captain Sirius, um, Sidney Crosby has Sid the Kid, and Connor McDavid has uh, the next great one. Um, so yeah, so those are the greatest players in the NHL right now. That's 2015. Definitely that list has changed and I'm just reading off this list, uh, because people, uh, cause some of my subscribers want to learn about hockey and hockey is a very hard sport to really understand when it comes down to it. And hopefully I make this video or making these little videos for you guys, um, will help. Hopefully. So, the greatest teams of all time. So, I guess this is the greatest teams of all time right now. Our player almost scored. Yeah. The greatest teams ever. Oh, the greatest teams ever. Ooh, it's not really a big list. <laughs> um, there's been a lot of great teams in NHL history, but these ones stand out from the most. All right, hold on here. Let me focus here for a little bit because I actually want to win this game. We're down by two. We could definitely come back from this game. But the Stanley Cup is the champion trophy awarded annually to the NHL Hockey League playoffs winner after um, after the Stanley Cup Finals. Everyone knows that. After the Stanley Cup Finals, whoever wins the Stanley Cup Finals wins that glorious, glorious trophy that is uh, Lord Stanley. Uh, Montreal Canadiens have won the Stanley Cup 23 times since the league was founded 10 more 10 more than second place Toronto Maple Leafs from 1951 to 60 1951 to 1960 Montreal made the cup final every season winning five times in a row from 56 to 60 between 1965 and 1979 the Canadians won 10 or more times since they have won twice or more in 1986 and 93 those days the Stanley Cup um, has become more harder to become harder to become by the uh, the New York Islanders won consecutive cups in 97 80 81 and 82 the Edmonton Oilers have won five cups between 1983 and 1990 but there's one more team the Detroit Red Wings in 97, 98, they have won back-to-back -back cups since. Has won a cups, yeah, have, a, I don't know, have won back-to-back -back cups since. Today, teams are only could be uh, considered anything closer to the dynamic dynamics of the Los Angeles Kings and the Chicago Blackhawks. The Kings have won the cup two times in the past three seasons, while the Chicago won in 2010 and 2013. Yeah, this list is very old. This list goes up to 2014. So, yeah, this list is very old. I don't know why I'm really reading this. Um, but, um, yeah. So, there's some history on the NHL when it comes down to the Stanley Cup and the players and all that stuff. I actually, I wasn't reading the greatest players of uh, the greatest players in NHL history. I was reading the superstars. So, 
Now we're jumping to the greatest players in history. Uh, we have only 47 seconds left, so I'll run through this. From Eddie Shore to Bobby Hall uh, to Bobby Orr, and the Rocket in between. With the Rocket in between, the NHL has some of the shining has most of the shining stars. So number 10, Eddie Shore. Uh, I'll go through this really quick. Eddie Shore, Bobby Hall, uh, Jean. Uh, I can't read that name because it's French. Gene Balaville. Sorry. Gene Balaville. Uh, Doug Harvey. Uh, Mark uh, Messier. Messier? This font on this website is just awful. Yeah, Mark Messier. The Rocket. Um, yeah, The Rocket Richard. What? I can't understand. Like, I can't see the freaking font. I can't see the font in this website. Maurice the Rocket Richard, Mario Lemieux, Gordie Howe, Bobby Orr, and Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> Sorry for like really butchering these names when it comes down to it. Some names. It's just the font on this website and my monitor. I don't know why, but like the font is really, really small. So I have to like zoom in, zoom out, and all that stuff. So. I'm sorry about that. But anyways, we come out with a loss. The second time we lost in this. But it doesn't matter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Like I said, there will be a link in the description to this website. If you guys want to do some research yourself, it's very easy. Just type in. Um, just I'll leave, a, I'll leave a link in the, uh, in the description or, like I said, in the comments below to this. So if you guys want to... To read up on this and really go through it and read up on your own you guys can do that obviously but hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode if you guys did make sure you guys smash the like button make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already um i forgot to tell you guys in the very beginning but i'll i'll make a little snippet for the beginning of this video uh to tell you guys but you guys already know um but uh anyways like i said make sure you guys smash the like button make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already make sure you guys follow me on twitter and instagram links in the description my name is prez Peace out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track, keep my head up.